I think the overwhelming majority of investors have no chance whatsoever of beating the financial markets in the long run. And they also don't have any real chance of consistently picking investment funds to do so for them, especially after fees and expenses. And they are left far, far worse off financially unless they realize this. Imagine Susan, the portfolio manager of a highly rated technology focused fund who like us is trading Microsoft shares. Susan and her team has easy access to all the research about Microsoft, including the 80 page in-depth reports from firms like Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs. They know the company's business lines in great detail. They may have worked at Microsoft or its competitors and perhaps went to Harvard or Stanford with management. Susan sees them at exclusive meetings, conferences, or even privately. She speaks frequently to expert trading groups, or she discusses forensic accounting with her army of PhDs who also spot competitive or economic challenges worldwide. The list goes on. In short, Susan has better knowledge, background, access, information, research, and gut feel insights into Microsoft and all the stocks she covers. And she combines this with her excellent judgment before she buys or sells Microsoft shares. Obviously, we have almost no chance of competing with her or her many competitors. But I'll also explain in a later video how largely because of fees and expenses you incur investing with them, only about one out of 10 investment funds like Susan's beats the market over a 10 year period. So unless you're a magician, you won't be able to pick the winning fund ahead of time and you're much better off investing in a passive index tracker. An index tracker is really just an investment product that blindly buys the stocks in the relevant index or market. Since we don't have to pay anyone to be smart about beating the market, index trackers are much cheaper. Over time, that cost benefit will make a huge difference. I decided to make uh, these videos in connection with the second edition of my book, Investing Demystify. I felt that there are many people who could benefit from appreciating some of the topics, but are not ready to pile into a 200 page book on investing. Watching a couple of videos should be easier. But to cut to the chase, there are a couple of major things I hope to at least have you consider. One, the ability to outperform may exist in the finance world, but we realize and embrace that we can't beat the markets ourselves and we can't pick the winning one out of 10 investment funds to do so for us. I hope that your reaction as we proceed will be, okay, I got it. I see why it's important. What's next? So what's next is that there is a super simple to implement yet incredibly cheap and powerful investment portfolio that will leave you much, much better off in the long run. It consists of a super low risk investment like cash or government bonds with an investment in an index tracker for the world equity markets. This is the only investment you'll need for your equity exposure ever. Remember that. So buy the low risk and world equity investments in proportions that suit your risk profile and you'll be better off than 99% of investors. Yes, your investment portfolio will consist of only two investments, be super easy to implement, but still be incredibly diversified and highly likely to make you more money in the long run than what you have today. You get a better portfolio and pay less for it. So is this important? You bet it's important. In a later video, I'll go through the example of someone with the income of a train conductor who puts 10% of his income aside in equity. If over his working life, he invests in a regular investment fund instead of an index tracking investment, he will on average end up with less money in retirement equivalent to the value of seven Porsche cars or about $400,000 in today's money that will be in his pocket instead of Susan's. This could easily be the difference between a well-funded and a struggling retirement. Crazy? Of course it's crazy, but it's also true. So don't say you weren't warned or that this doesn't apply to you. 
I'll elaborate on all the stuff I discussed here in the next videos, but I want to finish with repeating the two major things where this message is perhaps quite different from what you normally hear from finance people. One, you can't beat the markets or find an investment fund to do so for you. Two, for your equity exposure, you should only own a cheap world equity index tracker. If you remember nothing else, just remember that. You'll be better off for it. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.